Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin Davis, and today we're going to review the Anycubic i3 Mega. This is a new machine that came to me from Gearbest last week, and I've been playing with it all week, night and day, to get you guys enough things to check out and some interesting things as well you might not have seen before. But what's cool about this video is that this is my second 3D printer. So why does that have value to you? Because I can share some of my experiences as a new person. If you're just getting into this or looking at your first 3D printer, I'm going to share some of the pitfalls that I had with you uh, with this particular model. That way, if you're looking for this one, you kind of know what to expect as a new guy. That's going to be really important. Now, I pulled this out of the box and I assembled it pretty quickly. I had a friend before help me out with my CR10 over there in the corner. That one, I had no idea where to start, how to put it together. I didn't even know what an extruder was. Uh, so my friend Jeff came over, helped me build the thing start to finish. He had me printing in within an hour, which is really cool. So I'm really excited that this one took probably about 10 minutes to build and set up. Uh, maybe a little longer because I did take my time to make sure that all the cables were seated properly and everything looked good before I turned it on. Also, most importantly for the US users, make sure it's switched over to 110 on your uh, voltage over on the right hand side of the unit. But as long as you have all that and all your cables plugged in, you could probably be printing something within about 15 to 20 minutes. But for under $400, this is a pretty easy printer to use and get into 3D printing. It's not hard to set it up and it's really not hard to use. I'm still having some challenges with ABS, which I'll show you coming up in just a little bit. But let's go ahead and dive into some of my more interesting PLA prints with the printer. And I'll show you some of the details and some of the features on the Anycubic i3 Mega. Okay, so let's hop right into this adventure with the Anycubic i3 Mega. I just got started. I put the SD card in the side and I'm printing the file that was on the SD card. It's two little owls and I'm using my bronze PLA, which I thought looked super cool for these little owls. It turned out really nice. Now look at the detail close up on these feathers. This is pretty amazing. Even the female one on the right there, she looks really, really nicely done. You can see the feathers details in the small of the wings. Uh, super cool. Next, I wanted to try to print some TPU. That's that rubbery bendy type of filament and you can make smartphone cases out of it, but look what happened. It started to get rough and then it just totally gummed up. After some disappointment with TPU, I just decided to print some PLA wood and I've picked Rocket from Guardians of the Galaxy uh, for this print, mainly because what I wanted to do was print this out and then sand it off after I removed the supports and the raft on the bottom of him. And uh, I, I wanted to varnish this and, and see how this would turn out. And mainly just to experiment printing wood for you guys. You can kind of see some of the details there. Those little pieces in the front, those are supports around his arms and in the front of his body and down by his feet. And those just pop off. They're actually pretty easy to remove. Now, once I got them all cleaned up, he'd look like this. So I use sort of a darker type of stain. It kind of lets the, the grooves in between the PLA. It's kind of what it, this is, is it's PLA and sawdust together. So it's really neat. You can print kids toys with this as well. So after my extreme disappointment, not being able to print TPU with the Anycubic i3, I started over with some orange PLA and I found a file on Thingiverse that this guy made. It's called the Dotty for the iPhone 6 and the 7 Plus. I have the 7 Plus, so I decided to try to print this. It's scaled up just a little bit bigger so your phone snaps in. But as this one was printing, he said to print it vertical, which I did here and I included a base and a raft and support. But the problem was it started to curve out out and bend. Uh, eventually I got a really nasty bend and this became unusable. So I started over, tried to print it flat and that also didn't work out so well. Uh, so I ended up with no phone case, but the original TPU I printed on my CR10 right here looks absolutely awesome. So the CR10 does beat out the Anycubic for printing TPU. Now we're going to do something different here. I don't know if you've ever seen this before, but this is a stereographic picture projector. Now this guy has a file on here. You can customize it. You can add your own images to the top part of the dome and you can save it to your own account and then you can print it out. This is pretty cool because you can put an LED light underneath this dome uh, in a dark room. It projects the image on the wall. Now this is cool. I took a picture of my son. Uh, he is now a little over two years old and I wanted to have him and I 
projected on the wall as a little lamp in the room as a nightlight. Uh, but I had to end up taking the image and scaling it out just a little bit bigger and tr sort of bumping up the brightness and contrast so that the little dots on the top of this globe work out right. Uh, you have to have quite a big image on there. But if you can look closely here, squint at the screen, and you should be able to see a baby's face inside there. It's really, really neat. Just squint at the screen. You can just barely see it. So I'm gonna to have to get an LED and set that up, up in the baby's room. I think this is gonna be super cool. Now for my next project, I decided to make a lithopane. A lithopane is an image applied to a 3D surface reversed out into a negative process. And I printed this as big as I possibly could get this. This is a picture of me, my other half, and our two children right here. And look at this relief. This is in negative. And so when you take it outside, you put a light behind it, this is what you see. This is what you get. This is really neat. So you can set this on the counter in your house, put a light behind it, maybe a little LED light, or just set it in front of a lamp and you can see the image. It looks like a photograph, which is super, super cool. I love these. I'm gonna to try to make the lampshade, the lithopane lampshade next with my uh, AnyCubic. Now I'm also a drone pilot, so I like to make frames and I like to be able to print my own parts. And this is for a baby hawk. This is another version of the frame I printed out. And this is an example of TPU. If it came out perfectly, uh, this was printed on another printer, but the i3 Mega is not gonna do it. Now this printer takes standard size 1.75 millimeter filament, and you can get this. Uh, I'll try to put some links below. You also get an extra nozzle in there in case the, the one you have goes bad. That's really nice. You also get a pry tool, and you get some snips, which become very useful. You get some tweezers, a USB card reader, another SD adapter, and you get an extra sensor in there for your i3 cubic. You also get some Allen wrenches, which is pretty sweet because you're going to have to put this thing together. Uh, the, the manual that came along with it, I, I think it's pretty nice. Probably one of the nicer manuals that I've seen for any um, type of Chinese product this year. Um, fully made in English, full color pictures, instructions with how to do it and what not to do. Very nice manual. Now, if you're just getting started in 3D printing, leveling your bed is absolutely critical. This comes on top of the bed and you'll use this piece of paper to make sure all four corners are perfectly level. You also get a nice, super nice spool holder right here, you can see. Now this printer will print just about any type of filament that you throw at it, uh, with the exception of TPU. Maybe I just need to have a better setting. So I decided to print some of my harder filament that I have in my shop to print, which is ABS. I have a hard time printing ABS, and every time I seem to try to print ABS, it does something like this. I just can't get ABS to stick. Um, I don't know if I don't have the right settings, but it seems like every time I touch ABS, it just goes batty on me. Uh, so I'm just gonna stop that print and pull it off. Now, this is gonna be still a little bit usable. I can just probably pry these other pieces off here. And uh, it still does have four bottom points that I can connect to the quad. So I'll just clean this up a little bit, but look at the difference between PLA on the left and the ABS on the right. ABS is way more dense, and if you're gonna use it for quadcopter stuff, you want to print with ABS. It's just not gonna be quite as brittle as the PLA will be on the left-hand side of the screen. So that's about it for my review of the AnyCubic i3 Mega. It is definitely a mega machine. It's all metal. It seems really, really solid and sturdy. I like the way that the nozzle and the extruder looks on here. It looks really a lot nicer than the CR10. Uh, the touch screen is nice on the front of the machine and everything seems to flow on it pretty well. I had a lot of fun with it, minus the TPU experience, but I'm gonna keep printing stuff with this and, and try out some more experimental stuff like I did here with the lithopane. This is a really fun project. So I think you guys would like it. It's a simple printer and pretty easy to use. Thanks again for watching guys.